today I'm going to show you how to make peanut brittle in the microwave. This is super simple, super quick, and pretty much foolproof. These are the ingredients that you need, so let's get started. I've already got my corn syrup in a two and a half quart glass mixing bowl. I'm going to add in my sugar and using a wooden spoon, I'm going to mix this together. And you want to be sure and use a glass bowl for this. You don't want something that's going to melt in the microwave. And after those are mixed, I'm going to go ahead and place this into my microwave and cook this for three minutes on high. After three minutes, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to add in my peanuts. And once I get the peanuts incorporated, I'm going to put this back in my microwave and again microwave it on high for three more minutes. By this time, the glass is starting to get hot, so I'm going to use a pot holder to take this out. You want to be very careful because this is hot sugar syrup. I'm going to add in my butter and my vanilla, and I'm going to mix that in until the butter is melted. Now my cooking times are based on a 1000 watt microwave. Uh, you might have to adjust your times either up or down depending on the power of your microwave. And again, back into my microwave, this time for one minute and 30 seconds. And after a minute and a half, this is what it should look like. Now I'm going to go ahead and stir this down and you'll notice that it's kind of turned like a light tan color and this is what you're looking for. Then I'm going to put in my baking soda and I'm going to mix this in. And because I've let this cool a little bit, it's not going to foam up like it should. So I'm going to go ahead and pop mine back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds, you can see how much it foamed up and that's what it should do. And I'm going to go ahead and stir this together just a little bit. And then you want to immediately pour this out onto a heavily buttered cookie sheet to make sure that it doesn't stick, or you can also use parchment paper or a silicone baking mat. I am using a silicone baking mat, and I also just happened to butter this just in case because I didn't want it to stick to anything. This is a very sticky mixture. And since I don't like really thick peanut brittle, I'm going to go ahead and using the back of my wooden spoon, kind of spread this out a little bit. If you like a thicker peanut brittle, you don't have to do this. And then you want to let this cool completely. And once it's cool, go ahead and lift it off of your cookie sheet or your silt hat or parchment paper. And then the fun begins. Just drop it and let it shatter like a piece of glass. Go ahead and break this up and store this in an airtight container. And there you have it, how to make peanut brittle in a microwave. Hope you guys enjoy and thanks so much for watching.